Greetings, comic friends. I'm back with another CGC unboxing. This is going to be a fairly big one. Uh, this order, the vast majority majority of it is customer stuff. And actually, I think the majority of that majority is one customer. They had a really big order of, I think it was like 70-some books that, uh, that I had uh, worked on and sent in to get graded for them. So the, it's not the entirety of the original order. I've gotten two tiers back. I've gotten the modern tier back and the express tier, which has the, the more um, more valuable stuff in it. Because uh, after a certain, no matter how old the book is, after a certain amount, you have to, get, to get, go up to um, uh, express tier. The majority of them are... Um, Modern. I have two big boxes of modern and one, I guess it would be a half box of of the Express tier. And there's, there's stuff in there from modern to golden, actually. So I'm excited to see how these turned out. So uh, I haven't looked at grades yet. Um, I went ahead and opened the boxes just to make sure make, I'm not fumbling around a bunch here. Uh, oh, shoot. I don't know which way they're facing. Uh, okay, well, I saw this one. <laughs> I had to figure out which way they were facing. Uh, Batman number 363. This is the first full appearance of Nocturna. This this customer has a lot of Batman and detective in this, in, in this era. Um, and they're all in, in pretty good shape. So um, I did what I could to make them as good as they could be and sent them in so this got a 9.6 nice that is not bad at all for a book from 1983 gotta be pretty happy with that oh, man where am i gonna Did not think ahead enough on this next up Looks like another Batman, number 368, 9.2, all right, not as great. Jason Todd officially becomes the second Robin, but still a nice looking book. Uh, these must be in alphabetical order. Uh, Batman 314, 9.4, so we're still on the same ballpark. Two-Face, King Faraday, and Selena Kyle appearance. Batman 353. This is a Joker appearance. 16-page Masters of the Universe preview. 8.0. Oh. oh, yeah, this one has... This one has a... Uh, some stuff going down on the on the back and the bottom corner. There's a there's a little bit of there's a there's a little bit of paper missing there. So given that, I think 8.0 is pretty good. But not the wrong way. Oh, Batman number 357. So this is the first full appearance of Killer Croc. 9.8. Very very nice. Wow. Sure, they'll be happy with that. Batman 358, first Killer Croc cover. 9.6. I mean, I, I, I think getting a 9.6, 9.4 range in, in this is. I've already forgotten which way they're going to face. Okay. Batman 359. First comic book work by Dan Jurgens. I didn't know that. First Killer Croc cover with face re revealed. The previous one was the first Killer Croc cover. This is the first one with his face revealed. All right, whatever you say, CGC. 9.4. Yeah, maybe, maybe a little spine tick there. Still a good grade. Still a good grade. 
Wait, oh, that's the divider. Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars number eight. Nine point six. Wow. Wow. This is this is a book that uh, of mine I need to replace. This isn't mine. This is a customer's, and uh, the, the this particular customer is actually a old old high school friend of mine that we I, I bumped into recently, uh, and he had some books I wanted some work done on him, and I was trying to I was trying to convince him to sell this to me <laughs> raw, and he wouldn't do it. <laughs> so he made a he made a, he made a good choice. Uh, I knew it was in good shape. Um, but that's that's a hell of a hell of a grade. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man uh, 853, the Barack Obama edition. 9.6, that's too bad. Modern books you hope for a 9.8, obviously, but can't win them all. I don't see anything terribly wrong with it. There might be some spine split that I can't see just because of a, not getting a good angle. But. Uh, Batman number 291. Ooh, another 9.8. Many major Batman villains appear, as we can see on the cover. Batman 293, 9.6. Superman and Lex appearance. Uh, oh, Amazing Spider-Man 4, the first Silk. 9.8, very nice. Hopefully redeem that Barack Obama 9.6, at least a little bit. Uh, Batman number 292, Riddler appearance. Another 9.8. Told us this, this, these Batman books that this customer had are not messing around. They're not messing around. Some good books. I actually know the. Not, not the original original owner, but I know where they got them from. It was a um, a friend of ours that um, has has passed, and when he collected books, like he only would buy things that were high grade. So when when the current owner bought all these Batman's from him, like these are going to be good. Batman number 323, Catwoman appearance, Catwoman appearance, Catman cameo on last page, 9.6. Batman 366, 9.2. Hmm. Not sure if I see enough to make it a nine two. Maybe the fog of. Uh, I mean, I guess I guess the the whites on the back are a little discolored. That might be it. What's the significance? First, Jason Todd in Robin costume. Uh, Black Widow number one. This is the MCU cover. Um, 9.8. Very good. DC Comics presents 47. First Masters of the Universe. 9.4. Also good for this book. Yeah, I used to have this book on a 9.4. I sold it. I wish I didn't. Detective 525, more Killer Croc. And 9.4. Got 
Okay. Detective 530-96. And I think anything in that 9-4 and up range on these I'm pretty happy with. Detective 532-94. Joker appearance, green arrow backup. Getting close to the end of the first box. A Batman anniversary issue. Uh, it's what, 400? 400. Intro by Stephen King. I didn't know that. 9.4. I remember this book giving me some trouble. So I'm pretty pretty okay with a 9.4 on this one. This was this was a book that was just kind of stubborn. Batman Family number one. 7.5. That is very reasonable. <laughs> Three more in here. Uh, Batman 386, first black mask, and 9.6. Good with that. Black Panther number two, first appearance of Shuri, 9.8. Awesome. And last one for this oh, for this box is Batman Family number nine. Uh, oh, it's got the daughter of Joker on it. Nine four. Wow. Very cool. I'm gonna be real happy with that. I think. Uh, all right. So now I gotta get these back in here. And we're off to box number two. I think box number two is not quite as full as this one. It's the same size box. It's just not as full. Um, padded a bit, I guess. But so far, I'm very happy. I'm certain the customer will be very happy. And that's what's most important. Trying to think what else is left. I know I know I sent some magazine stuff in. There's some magazine stuff and um some older like some silver age stuff. Yeah, this is not quite this full. Which way are these ones facing? We'll take this out. These are facing the other way. This way? This way. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. They had uh, Grendel 1 through 3. They uh, This this customer like really likes indie stuff, especially this old indie stuff. And they, they had Grendel 1 through 3. Not in the best shape. I think they, if I remember correctly, they got better as they went later. Which kind of makes sense. But Grendel number 1 at a 7-0. Which is more than fair given the amount of color-breaking spine ticks on this thing. I think that's a very fair, very fair grade. Uh, I wonder if these are all in order here. Uh, Grendel 2, yes. 8.0, see, we're going up. <laughs> we're going up. Let's see, was 3 the best one? Is 3 going to be... Can three beat, is three gonna beat the 8-0? Assuming it is next. Yes, Grendel number three, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay. Yeah, this one, this one is by far the best. This one's by far the best. But I think the grades they got on them are all, all fair grades for, for what they are. Uh, Giant Size X-Men 1 facsimile. Oh, I'm always worried about these facsimiles, the, the thicker facsimiles. Um, not worried, but I'm not, not as confident they come back as 9 eighths. But it did. So I guess we're okay. Uh, Invincible number two. 9.4. Yeah. Color breaking ticks. Some some wear on the on the side the uh, back cover. 9.4 is probably right around there. Incredible Hulk 449 for Thunderbolts. 9.4. I think that's what mine is. I think mine's a 9.4, if I remember correctly. Um, huh. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not uh, at, at a glance, I'm not really seeing anything wrong. But maybe it's the, through the haziness of the bag. 9.4 doesn't seem quite right on that one. But. Uh, oh, Joker number one. This is a fun book. 1975. 9.2. Respectable. Uh, oh, Detective Comics 27 facsimile. Oh, also a 9.8. Okay, good. Good, good. Very cool. I know they had... Uh, they originally submitted an um, Amazing Fantasy 15 facsimile, but I gave it back to them. Like, there's there's stuff going on in this book that's not... It's, it's not going to be fixable. It's not going to be worth uh, sending it in. So I, I gave it back and... Gave their money back, of course, for, for the work I was going to do on it. But once I sat down with it and looked at it, like, mm, I don't think, I don't think this is going to be worth it. So, uh, Star Wars High Republic, number one, also a 9.8. Very good. Oh, this is the Han. Yeah, the Han's variant. Uh, X-Men 140. This is one of my favorite covers with Wendigo on there. 9.6. That's good. That's good. Oh. I think this is mine, actually. <laughs> I think I, I did have something in here. This is mine. Oh, I'm real happy with that. That's great. Woo. Yeah, I, I when I went to get this book, I I, I wanted a high grade copy of it, just because I love this cover so much. And you know, my dog's name is Wendigo. This is my favorite Wendigo cover. Um, so I went ahead and cleaned and pressed it, and am not disappointed with the results. I'm starting to think I didn't have anything in here. Oh, this is also mine. I guess I did have some things in here. Uh, Sandman number one, first appearance of Morpheus. 9.4. All right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Very cool. Do I have more stuff in here? Uh, Avengers Annual number 10, first appearance of Rogue. I don't... This might be mine. I'll have to check the order. 9.2. Looks good. Walking Dead 19, first appearance of Michonne. 
9.6. Wow. Oh, that's good. That's good. This this is I, I know whose this is, and they love The Walking Dead, and particularly Michelle, and they're going to be very, very happy with that. Uh, a few more in here. All new Ghost Rider number one. So this is the first Rays. Yeah, Robbie Rays. 9 6. Oh, bummer. You always hope. Mm, yeah, I see some some uh, color fading on the bottom right front corner. Where it, like, it, it looks like it had been rubbed up against other books. That's too bad. New Teen Titans number two. Uh, obviously, this is not mine because mine's right there. <laughs> 9.0. Nice. Probably fair. And uh, one more in here. Iron Fist number one. Story continued from Marvel Premiere number 25. Iron Fist Bottles Iron Man. Nino. I think they'll be happy with this. They they knew this wasn't, you know, super high grade, but the owner really, really likes Iron Fist. Um, I think actually 9.0 is probably a little generous given all the spine ticks I see on it. But I'm sure they'll take it. I'm sure they will take it. All right. One more box. So this last box is from... Expressed here. I guess there's probably, I don't know, five, six books in there, so almost at the end here. Edge of Spider-Verse, Gwen Stacy. Um, oh, yes. Okay. This is a friend of mine that uh, is looking to sell it. Uh, and we talked about it. Like, let's press it and send it in. Uh, my friend, he likes to read digital. So he, he gave me a lot of books to potentially sell, and they all had the digital sticker removed. <laughs> Um, because he takes them off and adds them to his, his account or whatever. So with this one, I had to add, I, I, I had to take a sticker off of another book and reapply it to this, which I, I've, I've done a number of times and I've never had a problem with it. So let's see what we got. Nine, eight, nice. Okay. Awesome. So, anyone interested in a Edge of Spider-Verse 9.8, get a hold of me. I know of one for sale. Uh, all right. Oh, some Golden Age fun here. Um, all select number nine from 1945. 5.5. Wow. That's... That's not bad at all for that book. Yeah, that cleaned up nice. Really happy with that one. Real happy with that one. Oops. Um, giant Size X-Men number one. Um, so this belongs to a local comic store. Um, they got it in with a bunch of stuff around this era all in really bad shape. Um, this one was no exception. Um, it's rough. It's rough. Um, you can see probably some spotting there. All, all the books had been exposed to some 
amount of moisture and there's some nasty staining uh all all kinds of stuff so uh, i talked to them about it and we you know we're like you know what if it comes back at two fine it's it's worth getting graded to 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 sell it so if anyone's in the market for a low grade giant size x-men number one also get a hold of me because i know someone who's selling it um but they ended up with oh three five all right. Yeah, cause, I mean, this is this thing has its spine is split. Like it has its problems for sure. But it's complete. There's no big chunks torn out of it. It's for for this book. It's not for a 3.5. It's not a bad looking copy. They're gonna be happy with that. Where's the box? Oh, I was missing the box completely. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 50. This belongs to oh, the same person that the Secret Wars 8 did, if I remember correctly. 5.5, so first appearance of Kingpin. Uh, yeah, that seems, that seems, that seems reasonable from what I'm seeing there. Uh, Ultimate Fallout 4. Um, if I remember correctly, this book had some issues. Yeah, there's, there's some... This was not a 9-8 candidate. Um, there's a pretty a pretty good color breaking spine tick. Um, yeah. I think this I think this also belongs to the comic store and it's probably for sale. Uh 9-4. Yeah. That's with with that spine tick, I'm I'm not horribly surprised. Uh, Star Wars Clone Wars for first Ashoka. Ooh, nine eight. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, they're gonna be good with that. And last book in here is ASM three hundred. This belongs to somebody. I think I know. Okay. When I say I don't know who it belongs to, it means like right now. Everything is noted someplace so I can look it up. But 9.4, nice. Very good. I know, I remember. <laughs> Not that that matters, but I remember. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Overall, really happy with, with all these grades. I think um, the... the Cleaning and pressing was on it was um, help help get some some really good grades on here. Uh, I imagine my customers are going to be very happy with the results. I, I know I'm happy with the results. I'm happy with the ones that came back for me. So overall, yeah, big big success. You know when you when you have a, a big order like this, you're always worried like there's going to be there's, there's going to be one thing in there that just ruins it. And I, I don't think there are. There, there were maybe a, a couple. Like um, I could see it being maybe one step higher or something like that. But overall, uh, I th I think things came back um, at a reasonable, reasonable grade. Um, if if kind of not better than what we were kind of hoping for. So that's it. Uh, let me know what your recent CGC experiences have been. These actually came back pretty quick. I think I got these back in. Uh, um, maybe three weeks or so, somewhere around there. So turnaround time for modern and um, uh, the other tier, <laughs> express, express tier, whatever, is is not bad. So I know I have at least two more boxes coming. Uh, magazines with a handful of magazines. There's some TMNT stuff in there. Um. There's that Marvel magazine with Kiss in there, uh, I think is everything. And then some Silver Age stuff. And I, I know I have some Silver Age stuff in, in, in that box. So real excited to get that. These, I'll get these back to uh, the customers now because I don't know when those other ones are going to be in. Uh, I know some of them I'll definitely see within the next few days at least. So I'll get that back to them. But yeah, overall... I think we did pretty good. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. 
like, subscribe, and of course, don't forget to make yours Titan. This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.